Hey everybody, I'm Peter from Offroad Electric and we are building a two motor extreme off-road monster truck from two Tatras and two Teslas and this is episode 58. I got these shims, different thicknesses that will go obviously into this place between the tube and between the turtle. And first thing we are going to trim these two rails and the bumper. So how is the video so far? Good? Next step will be dealing with the connection between the original Tesla motor and the drivetrain. We are going to use this shaft which is from original Tatra transmission and uh, where this spline goes directly into the T-case in this spot. We are going to modify the shaft as well as the case from the transmission. Let's get into it. We are going to use all this bottom part of the case. Here will sit the shaft. This part of the case will be just a mounting point for the Tesla motor. From the top part, we are going to cut it here. We are not going to use this. We are going to use only this part to secure the shaft.
I will need to cut out the bottom of the case because as you can see over here, the steering anchor would be interfering. So it came out relatively well. You can see over here, it requires some trimming over here, some over here probably. But the main point is that the shaft doesn't interfere with the anchor point for the steering. I don't even know if I need two anchor points for the shaft or just one. I will decide it later, but uh, we are going to cut the shaft somewhere here, make the coupler for the shot from the Tesla motor. And now let's go to cut the top part. Overnight I got an idea about a new design of this, so this will be a little bit different than I thought previously. I will cut out all of this inside. The support of the shaft will be done with the Tesla wheel hub. And uh, let's check if I can actually use this part as a bracket or not. There is no way I can place it here the way it is. Oh, I would never think it would be too close in this uh, maximum position. I cannot fit it there. So literally what is going to be left from all this case is this wall over here. And the same thing from this top piece. Everything this must go.
the steering fits there actually pretty well. That means I don't have to do anything with the main tube. That means I can start working on the shaft inside the tube. And we are going to use this part and this part and this part. If you enjoyed this video, you can like, share and subscribe and you can fund my production on the link down below on Patreon. Thanks for watching and see you next time.